الله أعلى وأكبر الله أقوى وأقدر a central tenet of the Twelve Shia doctrine is the rejection of the first of the rightly guided caliphs, Abu Bakr, who supposedly stole the caliphate from Ali. However, the Shia opinion of Abu Bakr's character doesn't reflect the Qur'an's narrative and the associated historical events, which actually mentions Abu Bakr in a positive light. When the Prophet ﷺ fled Mecca, he called his closest companion Abu Bakr to accompany him on the dangerous immigration to Medina. The Prophet ﷺ and Abu Bakr made the Hijrah together. The Quraysh disbelievers were giving chase, and the two men, the Prophet ﷺ and Abu Bakr, hid in a cave. But the Quraysh disbelievers tracked them to the cave and would have found them had it not been for the miraculous help from Allah. This story is mentioned in the Quran in Surah at Tawbah, verse 40, where Allah says, <laughs> This verse honors Abu Bakr in several ways. Most important of which is that the Prophet ﷺ tells Abu Bakr that Allah is with us. This is the absolute negation of the Shia paradigm. The Shia say that Abu Bakr is doomed by Allah, but here we see that the Prophet ﷺ says that Allah is with Abu Bakr. And indeed it must be in a positive light since the Prophet ﷺ included himself by using the word us. The Prophet is reassuring Abu Bakr that no harm can come to Abu Bakr because he has the special protection of Allah himself. If it had been one of today's Shias in the cave with Abu Bakr, then the Shia would have said to Abu Bakr that Allah is against you and not Allah is with you. This verse is clearly problematic for the Shia who have thus come up with some feeble responses to take away the honour that is given to Abu Bakr in the verse. The most popular response given by the Shia is that of classical Shia scholar Mufid, who apparently had a dream in which he met Umar bin al-Khattab, then challenged Umar to explain why the verse praises Abu Bakr. After Umar explained the reasons this verse gives Abu Bakr merit, Mufid then replies and supposedly silences Umar once and for all. After this, Mufid wakes up from his dream and gleefully narrates his hallucination to his comrades. Mufid stated, as for the assurance that Allah is with us, the pronoun us was used by the Prophet for himself. The use of plural pronoun for oneself is a sign of one's elevated status. Unfortunately, Sheikh Mufid could not provide a single reference in the Quran in which the Prophet uses the plural form to refer to himself. It was only used for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophets of Allah are clear in their speech. If the Prophet ﷺ wanted to exclude Abu Bakr, then he would have easily said that Allah is with me, just like Musa ﷺ did in Surah Al-Shu'ara. Fir'aun pursued Bani Israel and Musa ﷺ, and they became trapped between the sea and Pharaoh's army. Just like how Rasulullah and Abu Bakr fled from the Mushrikeen of Mecca and sought refuge in a cave, they then began to panic and said, we are to be overtaken. This is very similar to how Abu Bakr was panicking whilst he was with Rasulullah in the cave and said, if any of them should look under his feet, he would see us because the mushrikeen were above the opening of the cave looking around. Musa said to the children of Israel, no, indeed, with me as my Lord, he will guide me. Why didn't Musa say, no, indeed, with us is our Lord. Because Banu Israel were evil and a disbelieving nation who turned to worshipping idols after Allah had saved them. So Musa excluded himself from them and excluded them from being with Allah. 
However, the Prophet included Abu Bakr in being with Allah. The Shia are hell-bent on dispraising Abu Bakr and even calling him a disbeliever or a hypocrite. But a question needs to be asked. Can it be that Allah is with someone he hates? Can it be that Allah is with a munafiq or a kafir? Of course not. Allah clearly tells us in the Quran who he is with. Allah says he is with the believers, the pious ones, the patient ones, and he loves those who he is with. Allah says he is opposed to the disbelievers and the hypocrites. Thus, if Allah says he is with Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr cannot be a disbeliever or a hypocrite. The idea that we in the verse refers to the Prophet wasallam alone is irrational if the verse is read with proper understanding. The words the Prophet wasallam said to Abu Bakr that Allah is with us were the words of solace since Abu Bakr was in grief. Anyone who uses common sense would realize that it was Abu Bakr who was in grief. So how would these words of the Prophet wasallam comfort or assure Abu Bakr if the Prophet wasallam meant only himself? Obviously those words were to be directed at both in order to assure Abu Bakr who was worried. Otherwise, the words turn out to be meaningless. However, the Rafidah like Al-Mufid in their bigotry and bias have shut the doors of wisdom and justice upon themselves. But Mufid is not satisfied with his own explanation that us refers to the Prophet alone, so he furthers another ludicrous and contradictory claim. Mufid states, The Prophet replied, Do not grieve, surely Allah is with us, meaning with me and my brother Ali bin Abi Talib. This has to be the most ludicrous take on the verse, and I do not know how anyone can possibly take Mufid seriously after reading this argument of his. Unfortunately, it is taken seriously by 12 Shia scholars. Here is infamous plagiarist as Nasser regurgitating this nonsense. Even though that person was with him in the cave, the Prophet was essentially all alone. Does not denote any merit. Inna Allah ma'ana, God is with us. So it could be the Prophet is saying that Allah is with us, meaning he's with me. Or he's with me and Ali. If he is among the Mu'mineen, he should have received the tranquility, prove his lack of Iman. One thing should be noted here. Mufid has gone to great lengths to deny the words, Allah is with us, refers to Abu Bakr. And he has reassured us that it refers to the Prophet wasallam and Ali. Therefore, one thing is for certain. Even the Shia have to admit that whoever it does refer to is a blessed person. The fact that Mufid wants this honor to be accorded to Ali shows that whoever Allah is with can only be a just and upright individual. Hence, it will not be acceptable for the Shia to later shrug their shoulders and say, this is not a big deal when Allah says he is with someone. The only reason Mufid has to further two contradictory arguments is that neither makes sense. And the only obvious reading of the text is that us in the Quranic verse refers to the Prophet wasallam and his companion in the cave, Abu Bakr. Mufid further demonstrates his wild imagination with regards to the interpretation of the verse that can only be described as a comedic reading of the text that is simply counterintuitive. Mufid states, In this event of the cave, serenity was sent down to the Prophet alone, excluding Abu Bakr. This may be a pointer to the fact that Abu Bakr was not among the believers. Had Mufid read this Quranic verse in context, he would have got the answer for his misunderstanding. Let us see this verse in its full context. As can be seen, the reason why the singular pronoun him was used in this verse is because it is connected to the initial part of the verse, which is talking about Allah helping the Prophet. The initial part doesn't talk about the Prophet and Abu Bakr. However, if we ponder over the incident in the cave itself, we will realize that it wasn't the Prophet alone who received help of Allah, and was saved from the polytheist in a miraculous way. But Abu Bakr received the same help of Allah and was saved too, and wasn't harmed by the polytheist in the cave. In this verse, since Allah started off with the mention of the Prophet ﷺ alone and reminded the Muslims to help him, he subhanahu wa ta'ala concluded the verse by mentioning how he helped the Prophet. 
Therefore, through context, it is clear that the tranquility was sent on Abu Bakr along with the Prophet, even though it was not mentioned, like how Abu Bakr being helped by Allah wasn't mentioned. Hence, it was in the context of the address to the Prophet ﷺ alone, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the way he helped the Prophet and sent tranquility upon him. Notice that the verse nowhere negates Abu Bakr being helped by Allah or tranquility being sent upon him. It is silent on the issue, because as explained, the verse started with the mention about helping the Prophet ﷺ alone and concluded by the mention of how he was helped by Allah. However, this verse is so problematic for the Rafidah, like Al Mufid, who are so desperate and biased in their hatred, they consider it to be a hint that Abu Bakr was not a believer. Though this verse is an apparent evidence of Abu Bakr's great virtue, and destroys the Rafidi narrative with the powerful statement which the Prophet وسلم, said to Abu Bakr, Inna Allah ma'ana, Allah is with us which implies Allah is with the Prophet and Abu Bakr. Lastly, I congratulate Mufid for defeating Umar bin al-Khattab in his imagination. I will now go dream of me knocking Mike Tyson out. And that will just prove how great I am and how weak Mike Tyson is. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.